Hello, it's James from xrobots.co.uk. This is part 41 of my Iron Man Age of Ultron inspired Hulkbuster build, which is standing right here. This is actually a costume you can get into and walk around. I'm trying to get the front of this ready for photo shoots because I'm taking it to an event in Southampton in the UK on the 10th and 11th of October, which is Nerdageddon DEFCON 4. It's a charity event and all proceeds go to Click Sergeant, which is a children's cancer charity. So I'm really happy to support that. Hopefully we're going to get a van and take all the bits of Hulkbuster down there. So I've only got a couple of episodes left to go before that. I really need to finish some cosmetics on the legs, which is what I'm going to do this time. And there's one more to hopefully polish off electronics and any other minor details. I've still got the entire back of the suit to build, but for now we're just concentrating on the front, so it looks good. So let's have a look at those legs. Right, here they are. So I've already um, done the thighs in previous episodes. Still got to do something about this panel. And I worked my way down the leg. Hadn't quite finished the side there, but I had made these toe pieces, although they're not attached with anything. Um, the actual legs can hinge forward about that point there. So these actually hinge. And there is a hinge right in the side, down here which allows me to heel to toe walk, hopefully. So I need to be quite careful that I don't crush the toes when that hinges forward. So I think I'm gonna fix those in with a piece of bungee cord or something similar. I wanna put something in here, a piece of detail, probably some pistons or something. And I kind of need to keep that gap so that the toe can work. But other than that, we've just gotta make some panels and do some painting. I'm gonna be making a few of the panels on the parts here 3D printed. So this is the side of the thigh which I never attach anything to, so I'm gonna do the front faces here at least with the detail on, print it in, and just print this whole red panel in one piece. So I've got a few more of those to do, some more detail to add down on that piece at right at the bottom. So uh, we'll get those done, and while those are printing, I'm gonna make some more panels manually also. On the side of the feet, we've got these kind of things that come around and make the toes much wider, so I'm just gonna layer up some more floor mat foam. Just cut in strips and lay it up to kind of make that shape, uh, watching out for this piece when the uh, toe hinge is forward. And then I'm just gonna put panels on those which will probably be partly handmade and partly 3D printed. Here are the toes back on the feet, so I've got this little cutout here, which allows the uh, foot to bend so everything works okay. So these are going to be much bigger on the outside, there's going to be a big 3D printed panel on there. On the inside I'm just going to leave them with little blocks and that's so I don't end up banging my feet together when I walk, which is going to be hard enough as it is. So obviously there should be a massive heel sticking out of the back somewhere. But for now that's going to be left, mainly because I haven't got time. But we do need to do the side panel on this piece here, which will probably be 3D printed or part and part. It's a few days later, here are some of the parts and there are a lot more made already. Some of them are propped on that toe there. So I've done some which are foam PVC board with some 3D printed details stuck on. And I've actually weathered these up with rattle cans because I was feeling lazy. And these are my 3D printed parts. So these panels are, they're quite thin. 
so they're really light and um, again I've painted those up with rattle cans I think they look quite good I think they look a bit Doctor Who actually a bit like part of the TARDIS so that might be another good project to do making lots of panels on a 3d printed structure to make a TARDIS room but for now they're part of Hulkbuster so let's get some of those stuck on yeah there we go I think those are looking pretty good actually they need a bit more weathering but uh, on the whole I think they look good so I'm probably gonna do some more like that Quite happy with the level of detail on this. I've also weathered this up with rattle cans when I painted it by painting silver along the top and black along the bottom and the whole thing being gold. So I think that looks pretty good. I wish I'd done that for more pieces perhaps, but maybe for the next project. Here's what we've got so far. So yeah, really liking these panels. Really like to build a big structure out of 3D printed frame and stick panels on like that. Haven't decided what yet, but there we go. I still need to do some sorting out around here. So I'm probably gonna make in the future a sort of uh, a rim on there out of 3D prints with some bolt features on and so on. And I still need to do something with those cylinders. They're just laid in there at the moment. Um, also the top of this foam is a bit nasty, but there we go. Obviously we've got the feature there on both of the feet. And now I just need to do some weathering to blend in all these big red sections, which I'm actually going to do with rattle cans. I did a bit of that on the shoulders, even though I didn't show it. And I've done that with the other pieces that I've already applied. These pieces here, for instance. So I'm going to just get two rattle cans in silver and black. And then do some highlights with a brush. So that was a rather quick solution to doing some weathering, but it's not too bad on the whole. Just going to get a brush now and do the other bits and pieces of the silver that everyone hates and some more black potentially around some of it, although not too much. Not quite sure what to do with the silver on this. I think I need some big bold things. I put quite a bit on the edges and uh, things that look like little scuff marks, but these pieces are so big. Um, I think I'm just going to kind of come right across like this perhaps. And rub some black into that afterwards and kind of around here
That is all the painting I'm going to be doing this time, but that is what we have cosmetically to show at DEF CON. There may be a couple of other details that I'm going to do as I mentioned before, but that is all for this time. A quick shot from the front, which is of course how most people will be viewing them, and of course with the body on top, which I think is now too high for the ceiling with the head on. That's all for this episode, but don't forget to check back next time for the last episode before it gets exhibited. And of course there'll be a vlog of DEF CON with Hulkbuster in, among other things. Also don't forget to check out the other projects on my channel, including my 3D printed R6 droid from Star Wars, which has had quite a few parts done on it. And I'm working my way through putting little utility arms in and lots of things that pop out like the periscope, so if you're interested in the mechanical side, have a look at that project, it's entirely 3D printed apart from the electronics and motors. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more updates on this project and other projects. And also check out the social media links in the description to this video. That's all for now.